There's always been a whisper at the back of my head saying, keep moving, keep moving. Every morning in Denmark, it was hard to get off the S train that took me into Copenhagen. The best moments were leaving, the worst coming back. It's always newness, the adventure that gets you. Going to Aalborg, Berlin, Wales, Istanbul, within two or three weeks of each other was thrilling, but the eventual return to Denmark meant monotony. I wake up, I make breakfast, raw oats with milk on top, and lunch, heavy brown bread with meat, carrot sticks. I get on the train, I go to classes that barely stimulate. I wander the city for a little while, but in the end I go home. And my host parents would ask, how was it? What did you do in the city today? Anything happening? I really had nothing to say. Denmark has some of the friendliest people in the world, some of the warmest culture I've encountered, but yet the connection was so difficult. I didn't make my home in Denmark, which repeatedly struck me as an empty place to call home. All the rooms are white. Everyone speaks English, but often ignores your presence to favor Danish. The days are brief and dark, and it is often raining or overcast. The food is expensive. The bikers are rude. Some days you will wake up and the heater is broken. If you keep moving, you can ignore these things. I realized that I can focus on the places I went rather than Copenhagen. Modern psychology suggests that we experience a honeymoon period when we travel, where we get a high from being someplace new, but this is quickly replaced by feelings of sadness or annoyance as you aren't equipped to live there. You are adapted to your home. You are willing to focus on the things that upset you rather than the things that are beautiful. Like the many people who have been so kind and sweet despite being strangers. Babies nestled into carriages while train passengers wiggle their fingers to them to say hello. An information booth officer who gives you directions after apologizing for having chewy licorice in his mouth. The sarcastic data students who will tease you mercilessly, but in the warmest way. The good food, be it from the gourmet Torva Halerna, or just a hot dog cart sitting in front of Central Station. The way that your host mom is always concerned with whether your room is warm enough, or if you have enough food for dinner, and telling you that you can make some tea to take with you while you study in your room. The misty early mornings as you walk down the canal to the train station. The candlelight in the student house. The way that Denmark has none of the fjords or steep cliffs of its Scandinavian brothers but still has its own form of majestic beauty. I keep moving, but I will always remember how Denmark was a home, whether I wanted it to be or not.